Hi everyone, so today we're going to do grade one music theory. This is accidentals. If you want to see the ABRSM uh, theory syllabus, which is what I'm going according to, please go to www.mymusictheory.com. Um, it's got nothing to do with me, but it does outline the ABRSM theory as uh, syllabus as they would like you to know it. So accidentals, what are accidentals? So up to now, we've learned that there are certain letter names to notes which spell out the pitches. So this would be an F, for example, and that's an E. E would be higher in pitch than the F. Okay, so as you go up, the pitches get higher. As you go down, the pitches get lower. Right, so there's a, a tool I'd like you to uh, develop or find or reference with regard to accidentals and letter name notes and uh, understanding of pitches, and that is the piano. Now, if you do not have a piano, get a virtual piano, or download an app or something like that, and mess around on that virtual piano to see how pitches work. But what I like my students to do is I like them to draw some uh, notes or diagrams that will help them in their test when they get into the, in, into the exam. And one of the things I like them to learn to draw is the piano. So I'm going to draw a piano for you. And what I do is I put two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines, eight or nine lines. And then what I do is I put the black notes in, in the order that they appear on the piano. So over here, these would theoretically be black notes, and the ones over here would be the white notes. So this would be your C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And after C, that configuration starts again. So learn how to draw your piano. Get a virtual piano and copy it. Find a way to draw it. If you draw it wrong, however, you will get everything wrong in your test if you're referencing your piano. So please learn to draw it properly. And what you'll notice is that there are a set of white notes and black notes. That's usually how you see a piano. And one of the big misconceptions with accidentals or changing of notes, which is uh, accidentals would be sharps, flats, or natural signs, is that the black notes are the flats and the sharps, and the white notes are the notes without, and that is incorrect. That is absolutely incorrect. Okay, so let me show you how it works. You've got a set of white notes and a set of black notes. If you take the C, and you put a sharp sound in front of it, you move that C up by a semitone, and that becomes C sharp. So in this case, this black note is a C sharp. But if you move this E up by a semitone, you go to F, and you'll notice it goes from white note to white note. So if you make E a sharp, which is to bring the note up by a semitone, you will go to F. You're not going to black note, you're going to another white note. So it really just depends on this keyboard configuration, how a sharp and a flat looks once you look at the keyboard. Okay, so please keep that in mind. You have to visualize the keyboard for sharps and flats and try and understand the pitch relations. Please remember that the black notes on the keyboard are not sharps and flats. Sharps and flats are basically are determined on moving to whatever note you're moving up or down. Okay, so for instance, if you want a D sharp, it goes to this note here. If you want a D double sharp, it goes to another white note. So there are double sharps and double flats as well. Um, over here, B sharp is a C. There's no black note in between. So a B sharp would be the same sounding pitch as a C. It's a little bit confusing because on paper it's one thing. It says a B sharp, but it's still a C. So uh, you'll get to understand that in theory, there's a bit of a disparity. You can write a note three different ways sometimes, but in practical, when you go to the piano, it sounds exactly the same. So that's just a quick introduction to accidentals and just fixing up a misconception about um, what is happening on the piano in terms of accidentals, a misconception that I often run into with grade one theory. The pupils say the black notes are the sharps and flats, incorrect. Thank you.